Right, as you can see, we're here at the Emirates, Atmosphere's building. Everyone's very excited about the game. Where do you think it's going to be won and lost today? Where is it going to be won and lost? Asking me as an Arsenal fan, that's very difficult because Bayern are strong all over the pitch. They've got an incredible amount of skill and technique in the middle of the pitch. They're actually pretty good defensively with Jeremy Boateng, who's probably been one of their outstanding players over the past few 18 months. I think that their forward line, even though they've just dreamt with Lewandowski, I think that Mandzukic is really talented. So, as an Arsenal fan, I'm quite frightened about what this Bayern team can do. But I think that if we do actually compete, defensively we'll be strong. And I think that in midfield, we're going to have to ask a lot from probably, is it Walsh that's play, from, 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 from playing? From Walsh and Flamini, yeah. Walsh and Flamini, who, who are quite talented boys in themselves. Do you think with Sonogo in the lineup as well as Oxide Chamberlain, he's Wenger's made a clear statement he's, he's going to try and score on the counter attack? Basically, that's the only way you can score against Bayern. You're not going to out, you're not going to outplay Bayern Munich, not this Bayern Munich side. So you have to basically be dangerous on the break. Playing Sonogo gives you pace. It gives you somebody who can therefore transition from defence to, to attack far more easily than someone like Giroud. We can't concede more than two goals and we can't lose. And there you have it, Simon Brown's asking for quite a lot tonight. It should be a great game. Not good, mate. Not good at all. Being, being a change strong, Uzel should have scored the penalty and with 10 men against Bayern Munich, you're lost. You're lost. <laughs> Just can't. Is there any hope that Arsenal can go through in the next to the next round? With a lot of luck, a lot of luck on a good day, Bayern Munich having a bad day, could get lucky. We've done it before, we've done it last year, we can do it again. So we've got Cyril and Jim back with us from this morning. Guys, what's your reaction from tonight's game? Got it. Yeah. Got it. Referee screwed us completely. The referee? My opinion. Oh yeah, absolutely believe so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jim? Very disappointed, but Bayern Munich are a brilliant team. I can't take that away from them, they are a brilliant team. And we had no answers. Do you, do you fancy Arsenal going through to the next round of the Champions League? Yeah, why not? I think uh, it's always, <laughs> it's probably sounds a bit crazy, but um, you got you got to be positive, I suppose. You think they can do it away in Germany? We beat them two 0 last time in Germany. Look, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we showed a lot of character again today, and uh, it's the most important thing. And um, look, take one team, what one game as as it, as it, as it comes, and um, we showed a lot of resilience. I, I think we surprised a lot of people today. Obviously Ozil missing the penalty early on, that was a turning point in the game. It's probably the only German that can miss penalties. <laughs> What's your reaction after the game? I'm totally disappointed because I've come all over from Nigeria to watch this match. But I'm going to sleep bad. I don't know how to express my sadness for this match. I hope it will not happen again. There you have it, another football YouTube channel. Keep checking us out for more games and more insight.